the ocean has been warming. So um, the, there's a big question then about what are the biological consequences of the ocean warming. We know there are physical changes to the ocean primarily through temperature changes. So it's like, what can we see on a global scale in terms of how the uh, phytoplankton are responding. Phytoplankton are the basis of, uh, of the food chain um, in the ocean. They're algae and they have photosynthetic pigments where there's lots of these algae or these, uh, phy you know, these phytoplankton. The waters are primarily green and where they're absent, they're primarily blue. So when we're talking about the green waters are getting greener, we're saying that they are getting there's more chlorophyll there and then less chlorophyll where the blue waters are getting bluer. I know a lot of people are curious how the satellite measure the color, but actually uh, we are talking about the chlorophyll on the paper, but what the satellite directly measure is the signal or the solar radiation reflected by the water. Based on this property, we can use algorithm to estimate the chlorophyll concentration from the uh, solar radiation. The, the increase or decrease of the phytoplankton can really change the CO2 concentration on the atmosphere that will also impact the climate change. The phytoplankton is at the bottom of the food chain. So usually we think if there's less phytoplankton, which is a food source for a lot of animals, their population will decrease because their food is decreasing. If these trends continue, it would mean that those areas that are already not productive would become less productive and that would have an impact then, you know, on fisheries and those that are more productive or productive to begin with would be more, would be more productive.